4th of January 2021. This is Sergey Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live now from Ufa, from the city of Ufa, my hometown and the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, where I am now during the uh, New Year holidays. In Russia, the New Year holiday starts from 31st of December and lasts until 10th or sometimes 11th of uh, January, like uh, 11, 12 days of uh, the uh, New Year holidays. And um, so with uh, my family, I came here for the New Year holidays to celebrate the new year and to spend uh, the uh, holidays with uh, my parents, my parents-in-law here all together. Well, if you watched my New Year's live stream, uh, when we were meeting the midnight, uh, the, uh, the nights of the 1st of uh, January 2021, you know what I'm talking about. Well, now I'm here in the historical city center uh, here is the hill, yes, Ufa, known as the uh, um, the city on a hill or the city on a mountain. This is the embankment, a little part of it, because this is nowadays really, really huge uh, embankments. Uh, they spend like several billion rubles to reconstruct the embankment of uh, Biele, what means white Biele river. It's all completely frozen. It's, uh, you know, equally frozen because it's not like here in St. Petersburg. The weather here mostly uh, like an average minus 10 degrees Celsius. It's not like uh, in St. Petersburg where today, let's say it's like, again, zero plus one degrees minus one here is like a real winter okay local time 8 35 8 35 p.m yesterday if you remember here was the hockey hockey club slava you'll have played against Auto mobilist from Ekaterinburg and uh, yesterday uh, some people were asking what does it mean Salavat Yulaev and even was asking me if it's uh, something like about salad but nope Salavat it's actually the first name Yulaev the last name and here is Salavat Yulaev he is the national Bashkir hero the hero of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia dudes and here, actually, on the highest place of Ufa, up on a hill, is located his sculpture. The sculpture here installed in 1960s. And by the way, pretty soon they're gonna, uh, for the first time for the last 50 years, uh, or even 60 years, to uh, renovate it. And uh, probably they will they will deconstruct it and uh, for some time probably it will absent here but for now it's here so that's who is Slava Tulaev and the hockey club named after him actually many things here in Ufa uh, named after Slava Tulaev let's say where we're located it's the square the square of Slava Tulaev also, here is Prospect, Slovak Yulaev Prospect. It's like an avenue, Slovak Yulaev Avenue. And uh, many other stuff. Also, even the city, the city of Slovak, just the city called Slovak, it is located in about 120, 100, 130 kilometers from Ufa. And here is the TV center, the main TV tower of uh, Ufa. And as a matter of fact, uh, of uh, the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, because Ufa is the capital and the biggest city. 
1.2 million residents are living here. Yeah, it's really huge. Dudes, dudes, this monument's really huge. Here is the square of Slovak Yulaev. Um, yeah, like it's easy to suppose this is the square of Slovak Yulaev because it goes right next to uh, the monument to Slovak Yulaev. Happy New Year! Happy New Year once again to all of you from Ufa, from the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Uh, from Baklik of Life, Happy New Year and Happy Upcoming Russian Orthodox Christmas. Yes, here we're still waiting, we're just waiting for our Christmas. Here is a yours. This is about how the, uh, the old ancient uh, house of indigenous Bashkir people looked like. Now usually uh, this is how they uh, decorate the souvenir shops. Here is the uh, national Bashkir ornament, Bashkorzistan. It's actually like indigenous lands of Bashkir people. Here you can buy souvenir. I hope they wouldn't mind now me to film here. Okay, he don't mind. So this is uh, just a magnet for a fridge. The dishes. National Bashkir style hats. other furniture, little sculptures. <laughs> this is a flag of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Well, of course, the real Bashkir honey, Bashkir honey, which is famous all over the world. You can check it out. No joke. This is a dolls. That is the dolls in a national Bashkir costumes. That's how the national Bashkir costumes looks like. Heads, scarves with uh, Bashkir ornaments. Okay, so lots of stuff, not only souvenirs, but actually real stuff, just the real stuff, daily stuff. And what's important, you can be sure, really made and uh, made in Bashkortostan. Yes, owl socks and gloves with uh, national 
ornaments of uh, Bashkortostan. Bash yeah, Bashkortostan has its own style. And by the way, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna make um, a serious dip into Bashkir culture because tomorrow I will go to um, the Grand Hall of uh, Bashkir State Philharmonic and uh, the only thing I'm really concerning like always in the new places for my IRL uh, how is an LTE will be there but if LTE will be okay the IRL the live stream will working out and you will see the whole concerts the concerts of the stars of uh, Bashkir music uh, well known, pretty well known here, Bashkir artists, musicians, the whole concert there. So tomorrow, 7 p.m. local time or 5 p.m. St. Petersburg slash Moscow time. Yeah, tomorrow. I really hope that everything will working out. I'm making bets on this cultural event against uh, the uh, KHL game. Actually, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, at least two two of uh, interesting events well KHL game hockey club Slavati Life against avant-garde from the city of Omsk from Siberia and uh, the concerts of uh, Bashkir culture Bashkir music and I'm making choice on the uh, Bashkir music concert because like uh, I used to cover KHL games hockey games already uh, many times many times and exactly here in Ufa so that's why, you know, I, I told you many times that variety is pretty important for me. So that's why tomorrow I am making bets and taking a risk on making my choice to go to the Grand Hall of uh, Bashkortostan, Bashkir State Philharmonic. So I invite you to come here tomorrow. Okay, so here is uh, what we call a nice city, such a little, yeah, like little temporary towns uh, with the New Year decorations, with an ice sculptures, with a little mountains, snow mountains for a kids. We call a nice cities. <clears throat> So that's one of the main places here in Ofa to hang out in the streets during the uh, during the New Year holidays. You see, even though it's almost 9 p.m., but a lot of people here, a lot of people with kids hanging out. Also here next to uh, Slavatio Life Statue, here is a Congress Hall called Teratau. It used to be called Congress Hall, Congress Hall, uh, the House of People's Friendship. Here was in 2015. Uh, this was the main area for Summit of BRICS. It's a union of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and uh, SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. I was here, if you remember, and that was. Uh, actually, one of the biggest political events back in 2015 in the world, featuring Putin. Well, I was here, I filmed here, but again, not like all the journalists here. I just filmed the behind the scene mostly. And uh, this is uh, the Congress Hall, which was projected in cooperation oh, of uh, Japanese and Bashir architects. Yeah, it's pretty huge. And uh, it's located next to Natural Amphitheater. And uh, from the side, from the river side, it looks like it's, uh, it's like the whale. The whale uh, who got into the shore, relaxing, chilling. Ronald. Hi, Ronald. Bricks will destroy the dollar. Well, the time will tell. Happy New Year once again, and thanks so much for 
super chats. The first super chat today. Pretty cool. Teratao Congress Hall. Yeah, you see here is an absolutely natural amphitheater. The thing is here is it's like a huge hill, huge mountain. And here we can see uh, the pit, the pit. And this is a natural pit. It's not like they uh, made such a pit here. And there is the hotel, which is called Hilton, Hilton Garden Inn. And uh, that's exactly one of the hotels which was built in 2015, uh, special for initially for the guests of uh, BRICS Summit and SEO Summit. SEO is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Well, here is such a conical New Year tree with LED lighting. It's almost 9 p.m., but many people, because, yeah, people people don't have to go at work, mostly. Most people don't have to go at work until 10th or like 11th of January. So, yeah, people hanging out even at 9, 9 p.m. with their kids. This is one of so-called ice cities. The place for people to hang out, free place. The place where you can see such a New Year's lighting decorations and the real ice sculptures. Well, of course, uh, here you can see mostly uh, national Bashkir motifs. And the New Year's thematic, Russian New Year's thematic as well. The real ice cultures. It's an owl, just an owl. Well, here is a very small mountain for the smallest ones. And there's a bigger mountain for slate. There's one more mountain. Here they sell, I'm not sure how to say, but such a plastic things. It's like the slides, some kind of slates. That's how it looks like. You just sit down on it.
That's how it happens. Pork. Pork loin. <laughs> Russian bear. Grandfather Frost and a snow girl. Meanwhile, Susan M. sent super chat. Sergey, do the ice figures have any special meanings? Thank you for live stream. Well, there is no any special meaning. It's just for a beauty. But yeah, like from the point of view of uh, how they look like, this is something or about the national theme, like something about Bashkortostan like that Bashkir horseman uh, or just a New Year's thematic just uh, maybe the heroes from the Russian fairies fairy tales stuff like that it's all just to create the New Year's mood LED New Year's tree. Here on the square of uh, Slavat Yulaev, a national Bashkir hero. Ufa here is full of lights. And look, this is like a Spaska Tower and Kremlin, Moscow Kremlin, which is always associated with the main clock of Russia. This is the clocks people see in the first seconds of the new year. On all TV channels, they show, if you remember my live stream from the New Year celebration, uh, it's 11.55 p.m. There's five minutes uh, greeting from presidents of Russia, and then they show this clock, and then it starts, um, they start playing a Russian national anthem. So that's why Spaska Tower of Kremlin here in Russia always associated with the new year. Congress Hall. Two thousand twenty-one. Yes, you have no idea how now it's so nice to see two thousand twenty-one instead of two thousand twenty, which is definitely was like not an easy year. And now two thousand twenty-one, seeing that twenty-one instead of twenty, real gives a hope for a better year than two thousand twenty. This is mostly 1970s neighborhoods, 1970s Soviet neighborhoods. This is the main entrance to TV center, the main TV center of Ufa. Mayak radio station, Vesti FM radio station, radio of Russia, 
uh, Russia won channel. Russia, Bashkortostan 24, and Russia 24 channels. Here we can only see the entrance group. Actually, the whole building is pretty huge, pretty huge. Michael Zwino, happy to be back watching this. Love this sledding view. We will watch more later after work. Thank you, Michael. Happy New Year. And uh, my regards traditionally to Natalie as well. The main TV tower. Those most people here now are just having cable TV. But maybe the initial signal for many channels comes here and then goes to cable networks. It's minus eight degrees today. Not too cold. And even though here is a little snow, it's warm. Actually, when it's it's pretty often when uh, when the snow goes, it's warmer than when there is no snow. Okay, let's keep walking the uh, New Year's through the New Year's. Oof. <laughs> if you don't have a riding dog, you maybe have a riding brother. Okay, this is mostly a 1970s developments. This is like one of the first nine-story buildings in Ofa. I now will go in direction of uh, Gastin the Dvor, the guest yard. The square of Slovak life. Bye for now. Let's keep walking. Uh, thank you for joining. Thanks so much to everyone who keep joining. I see already 237 people online, which is pretty great. Yeah, somebody enjoying the ride. Look at her or him, I don't know. <laughs> Local time, 9.02. And still many people here, because as I said, oh, here in Russia we're gonna have yet like the whole week of holiday. With a population of over a million, the pedestrian walkways, streets and parks are not that busy. 
Well, you think this is the only one place to hang out in this city? Nice conclusion. I'm now walking along uh, Zakivalidi street. I'm going in direction of Gastinny Dvor, the guest yard. So this is a uh, Hilton Garden Inn Hotel. It, it was initially constructed for the guests of uh, BRICS Summit. There's an awesome view from that hotel. It's on a hill next to the river. The main river, the biggest river of Ufa. And here is one of the blocks of Bashkir State University. Sulpan, the food place, Shaurma, Shaurma place. Yes, here in Ufa, they love Shaurma as well. <coughs> okay, so this is like the main block, the main building of. Uh, Bashkortostan State University. It's multi, multi faculty university. John F. Hey, Sergey, loving these IRL streams. Have a kumpan coffee on me. It's cold out there. Yeah, thanks so much. I definitely will go to kumpan. Here is like 1950s, 1950s building with its typical 1950s columns and portico. Yeah, it's cool. Pretty awesome. Bashkirsky Государственный Университет. Bashkortostan State University. Or Bashkir State University. The lettering there. Here in Ufa, it's the real winter now, not, not like in St. Petersburg, where I was checking these days, uh, all the snow almost melted again, and the temperature like about zero, like balancing from plus three to minus three degrees Celsius. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, how much in Fahrenheit. I understand only Celsius. Here in Russia we use Celsius only.
every year. I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! And Happy New Year! <laughs> Joanna, you're welcome. Gave you hi, man. Jay Lewis, I'm on Hunter. Hi guys, happy new year, Felix, happy new year, lively live stream tonight, congrats on 143k subs, <laughs> thanks, but you know, you know what's funny, I once already had 143,000 subs, but uh, this year I had a lot of unsubscriptions, because uh, I started making the live streams. This is an uh, advocate chamber of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Advokatska Palata. It's like advocate chamber. And here is one of the stadiums. One of the stadiums called Okay, lawyers chamber. Okay. Um okay, this is Dynamo. Dynamo stadium. One of the stadiums of Ufa. And look, if you maybe remember two months ago, when I was here, I went to the uh, restaurant of national Bashkir cuisine called Asik Tulek. It's right here. It's right here. You can check it out. There I try to taste uh, many dishes which is uh, which are considered as national bashkir cuisine check it out this is by the way the very beginning of karl marx street karl marx karl marx capital no it's dynamo stadium dynamo Dynamo. Yes, here is the swimming pool. And also there's the stadium. And here is the swimming pool. When I lived here, actually, uh, uh, Victoria used to go here to this uh, swimming pool Ufa appears to be a large city Yelena yes it's 1.2 million residents here and uh, this is one of uh, the biggest cities of Russia. It's like 10s or 11s. The thing is, it's now all the time uh, jumping from place to place because uh, other cities are getting developed too. And it's like 10s, 11s place. Look, well, anyway, it's in top 15 out of 1,150 here in Russia 1,000 
150 cities and towns. So now you can imagine that, yeah, it's a huge city. Neil McDonald's, yes, correct, correct. When football club Ufa uh, just started to play, they played here in Dynamo Stadium. Also swimming pool here. But now they move to Nivtyanik, what means an oiler, Nivtyanik. You see, uh, here is an inside part, there is swimming pool, and there if you would look behind the uh, behind the building, you would see the stadium. We even can see a huge projector, huge projectors there that uh, give a light to the stadium, to the field. And this is a national Bashkir theater. Wow, nice lighting. I love that light, light change. The National Bashkir Theater. Well, here is not only the colors of the Republic, because there is no red light. There's white, green and blue. This is the statue of the writer Majid Gafuri. Actually, the theater named after him. And this is one of the blocks of Bashkir State Medical University. And uh, here is the place to photograph. I love BGMU, which means Bashkordistan State Medical University. And there's already a Gastine Dvor. That's where we go. Ufa, the city of Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Well, I'm actually having a uh, good time here. Yeah, it's a pretty saturated time here. 
uh, when I came here at the 28th of December, immediately already, I came in the morning, but already at night, I went to, if you remember, the concerts of National Symphony Orchestra of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia for the uh, concerts of uh, Strauss, Jogan Strauss music. Then the next day, at the 29th of December, we were just walking all around here in the historical city center. Uh, and uh, the next day, at the 30th of December, we went to another concert of National Symphony Orchestra uh, of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia for the uh, Pyotr Tchaikovsky Nutcracker Ballet Music. Uh, and that was pretty great because here in Russia, nothing considered more New Yearish, if I can say so, than the music of Pyotr Tchaikovsky, the Nutcracker. So it was awesome. Well, the next day, at the 31st of December, if you remember, I've got you to our home party, the New Year's home party, uh, like I showed you uh, what was on our table, uh, then how we were listening to the greeting from the President of Russia, then how we were listening at the Russian National Anthem at midnight, uh, and then went to the streets to shut the uh, fireworks. I've got a fireworks also. There was a lot of neighbors who also got their own uh, fireworks. And then, and then we went to the main uh, square, one of the main squares of the city, Lenin Square. And uh, there was uh, the salutes, a huge seven minute salutes, fireworks from the city. That was really huge, as huge as uh, when uh, that fireworks happens, they uh, uh, close everything with the police, so you can't come close because there's the professional fireworks, and uh, there's a huge chance that you can be damaged. Now this is Alexander Pushkin Street, and look, this uh, late Soviet building, such a functionalism building. This is the house of actor, the house of actor. Yeah, it's like late Soviet Union. Good old Soviet days. So this is Alexander Pushkin Street. And this is still Bashkortostan State Medical University. People here study for six years. Well, as a rule, non-medical uh, education takes five years. But the uh, medical faculties here, the uh, education in Russia on a, for a medical professions usually takes six years. Another shawarma place. Shawarma. And this is Bashkir State Opera and Ballet Theater. By the way, uh, here today uh, at 6 p.m. was the ballet. Piotr Tchaikovsky, the Nutcracker Ballet. Not just a concert, not just the music, but ballet. But I hadn't any chance to get there because there was a sold out already for like a month before.
and this is an LA which is called Art Area. Art Area, this is an LA of uh, uh, contemporary sculpture, so called contemporary sculpture. This is how Ufa written in Bashkir language. And so that's why sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, but one of the names, one of the nicknames of Ufa is a three screws. It's like a th a th And look, uh, if you will look at these letters, it's like uh, the screws, like the head of the screw. If you will look uh, from the height on it, I mean, like from up down, from up to down. Three screws, a th. Well, I used to show this LA to you, the LA of contemporary sculpture, contemporary art. Yeah. It goes all along the uh, Bashkir State's Medical University there. The sculptures like this, you see? Contemporary, contemporary art. And here is such a photo frame. I love Ufu, what means I love Ufa. It's here in Russian language. Ya, what means I. Also, just one, one letter. Ya, I. Love, well, just the heart means love. Ufu, I love Ufa. So, uh, Bashkir State Opera and Ballet Theater, the place where his career started, Rudolf Nureyev. Today at 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. here was the Nutcracker Ballet. But I hadn't any chance to get there. Everything was sold out for a month. For a month before the performance. The cleaning time, all the time. I hope you enjoy walking through my hometown, the city of Ufa, the city of Ufa. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! And this is Theatrical Square uh, because it's next to Bashkir State's Opera and Ballet Oh, theater Now it's way more beautiful at night with all the lights on than by day. Let's say yesterday I was walking here when I went to the hockey game, if you remember. It wasn't that beautiful by day with all the lights off.
it's an awesome horse carriage. I always see people photograph here. Really awesome place to photograph. And uh, the fountain called Seven Girls. Awesome fountain, water fountain in a uh, summertime and uh, such a lighting fountain in a winter time yeah this is uh, the fountain according to the legends about seven bastard girls here is the sculptures of uh, seven bastard girls You see them? And here is the hotel, which used to be called uh, Holiday Inn Hotel. Now it's called Nesterov Plaza. It's another new hotel built just five years ago. Again, special for the summit, Brick Summit 2015. So another awesome place for you to stop if you will want to come to Ufa. If you will want to come to visit Ufa, dudes, it's right in the historical city center. And right in front of Harrods, Harrods pub. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, you're always having uh, just a one step access from Guinness. Гостиный двор, the guest yard. You see, Harrods pub is there, an Irish pub called Harrods. Evren Street Food, the food place. And here is one of the ice skating rinks. Terra Bashkiria, it's a tourist brand of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia because look Ufa is a one thing but the Republic of Bashkortostan is another thing it's uh, it's definitely one of the most beautiful regions of Russia with everything to offer uh, mountains rocks well famous Ural mountains okay uh, mountain rivers the woods Everything you want, everything from the point of view of uh, the uh, nature, the caves, like million years caves, like Shurgantash or Kapov, Kapov's cave.
Wow, this little one is already a master. Here in the ice skating rinks, traditionally you can come as with your own skates as to rent. pre-revolutionary architecture of Ufa. The guest yard here is like from uh, 19, uh, 1894, the end of 19th century. Well, not as old as uh, St. Petersburg, Gastine Dvor of St. Petersburg, which was opened in 1785, but also like kind of old, pre- revolutionary mall and this is still mall here is the bar which is called darling I'll call you later you remember how like four years ago three years ago here performed Anton Sividov, the leader of Tesla Boy with his DJ sets. <laughs> Food, drinks, music and sport. Halal Cafe. You know what is Halal? The place called Barakat. Halal. Halal. It's actually like here you, you still can eat the meat, but they guarantee that this meat is, um, how to say, blessed. Blessed with Imam, Muslim churchmen. So the meat which just went through the uh, uh, religious ritual. This is, by the way, the parking. This is uh, the parking of uh, Gastine Dvor. Yeah, Ingvar. Hi, Ingvar. Happy New Year. Yes, uh, that fact is as well. Well, this is... I already used to show this to you. That's how people in UFO are having fun.
Good, good. Pretty good. Dipayan Gosh, Happy New Year, Sergey of Faez. Beautiful. Keep up the uh, great work in 2021 as well. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Thanks for staying with uh, my channel. Yeah, that was nice drifts, some drift. People here in Ufel love to drift. Now this is an installation, just a new installation installed just like maybe uh, a half of a year ago, maybe even less. This is the installation, art installation dedicated to uh, human rights and human freedom. Here is an image of the human with such words in English and Russian like liberty, personal life law, peace, accusation, and stuff like that, equality, world. Okay, Kumpan. Kumpen Cafe, let's get to Kumpen. Kumpen Coffee, let's get Kumpen Coffee. KFC or Kumpen? Of course, Kumpen. Need, need to support, need, need to support the locals. I'm gonna support the locals. And uh, not only um, Kumpen Cafe is locals, local place, but I know Mikhail Kumpen in person and uh, yeah, you used to see him in uh, several of my live streams. We were drinking wine. Ah, what by the way, Mikhail Kumpen. Мне необходим кофе, латте большой. Я мне с собой, просто с собой. Сразу оплатить хочу. Да. What is Kumpan? Kumpan is the last name. That must be Vika's phone. Yes, this is her old phone. Now she's having iPhone 11. This is her old phone, iPhone 7, which now I use as my assistant phone. While during the live streams, my main phone, also iPhone 11, is busy. So no any shame, no any shame for me because she's got better phone.
It seems like my gimbal got frozen. It is not keeping the position anymore. Happy New Year. Прекрасно, прекрасно. Стив Мак. Happy New Year. Прекрасно. I, I don't know, I don't know a bigger fan of coffee than Михаил Кумпан. So no wonder coffee is always pretty good. Ooh. Okay, dudes, I, it seems like I need to connect the charger to my gimbal. It's dying. Okay, connect it. The power bank. Прекрасно, прекрасно. Well, usually gimbal, gimbal is okay for at least four hours of uh, constant usage, but seems like today died for just uh, 75, 77 minutes. Why did they delete your ice hockey video? It's not delayed, it's, it's blocked due to copyright problems. Uh, because on a background during the hockey game, during the break, there was there was the music of ACDC, ACDC, and the label, record label, which owned the rights for that track. Um, they said you have to block it. Well, now what I did, what I did, there is such a function that you can mute the sound or trim that uh, fragments. Well, I don't remember I said, like I selected 
frame that moment only 15 seconds or like mute the sounds so now it will take take a time uh, to delay that I mean to mute or trim that moment and it will get back okay let's go oh you remember this guy this guy from another Kumpan place National Symphony Orchestra. You remember this girl? The first violin. Daria. The first violin of National Symphony Orchestra. I'm walking through socialistic street now. Socialistical. Latter was good because I told you, I told you, oh, Mikhail Kumpan, probably the biggest coffee fan, fanatic, practicing fanatic, coffee maker, actually, coffee roaster that I know. Painstakingly selected coffee beans from all over the world. Painstakingly roasted. Painstakingly uh, cooked. Okay, this is Art Quadrat. Art Quadrant. Which is now the most popular place for, for the youth to hang out. And here is the Club of Dream, which is nowadays like the best nightclub in Ufa. And there is also the place, wine place, wine bar, called Daljno Padishat. Must to breathe, or must to breath, how to say. Yeah, it's like the wine must to breath. And here is the place, also here the place, where people are having events. It's like event hall in, uh, in Art Quadrat. They are making different performances here, including a uh, chamber a symphony or classical concerts. I used to show one of them to you. Oh in the summer because you remember in the summer I also was coming here this is event hall and this is the place which is called Dalsno Padishat wine bar let's get in I was here like several days ago meanwhile here is another bar called NS bar NS bar Let's get in. They are beginning at 4 p.m. 
Yeah, 4 p.m. Ain't no mountain high enough. Hi, dude. Это снова я. О, хай. Хай, дюд. Дмитрий. Я делаю лайв. Это лайв стрим. Лайв стрим. Ну, баклыков лайв. Я сейчас приехал на новогодние в Уфу. Вау, wow. I love it. Очень классная инсталляция. Yes, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna get a red wine, some red wine, and then we we will keep going. Yeah, there is always a mess with the hair during the winter time because I make up my hair, but I put the hat on. And then it's a mess. We are now free. We need a red wine. A bottle. Some for your taste.
Yeah, there are Nora Jones playing on every ground. Uh, music there sounds more sophisticated than at some other places. Yeah, different places, different uh, music for math. Да, какой-нибудь на ваш вкус красное вино. В прошлый раз была Аргентина и Южная Африка. Может, что-нибудь что еще можно? Гэби Хайман, this will pay for more camouflage. Thanks so much and Happy New Year, dudes. But I'm not gonna make another camouflage until I will get back to St. Petersburg because I trusted only to Tima these days. Tima, you remember Tima? Тут все говорят, у тебя борода классная. Все говорят, у тебя классная борода, вот пишут. Well, I told him that you guys appreciate his beard. He said thanks so much. Это что за вино? Караван South Eastern Australia. Это там написано Южная Австралия. Ну, no, Happy New Year once again and Happy Upcoming Orthodox Christmas. Uh, more than a half of wines here you can get by glasses. Well, some wines here you can get just a bottle, bottle, the whole bottle only. But more than a half wines, however, available by glasses. Yeah, nice, nice red wine, pretty good. I'm drinking for an awesome 2021. Yes, correct, it's 2202 in Ufa. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is the wine bar called Должно подышать. Must to breathe. Body Brin, I don't have to go to work, I'm retired. That's 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 good. That's good. So you can take your time. Sergey, will you show us the train station in over some time? Sometimes, yes, yes, I think. Are you going to order something to eat? I don't want to eat, just to drink. Yeah, that's the melody from Back to the Future movie, right? Yeah, Back to the Future. Kevin C. Sergey, how many restaurant bars do you think may close in major Russian cities? They are projecting 30% in my area. Um, well, it's hard to say. Hard to say. I just, uh, how to say, I just never researched this question, so 
I don't know even approximately. However, it seems like in most places uh, the bars are still selling goods because in most of Russian cities there is actually no any lockdown. You see, no even any like social distancing and stuff like that. And also now this New Year holidays helps. Yeah, like in St. Petersburg now, the time limited uh, to 11 p.m. But anyway, many bars keep working. By the way, thanks for super chats and Happy New Year. HSM present uh, epic uh, return. Careful with music. Well, you see, the thing is, let it be what what it will be. So I don't care. Well, what can I do? I can do nothing about it. If uh, if it will get blocked, I will just have to, I will just have to trim all the moments, and that's it. Шикарно, шикарно. Думаю, нет, потому что надо идти дальше. Но в следующий раз. Я думаю, до пятницы, наверное. Но. Да, но он у меня и был, просто я не всегда его беру. Это дочкин старый телефон. Вот дочка. My daughter. Вика. Сейчас 13. Малин. Она тут сделала код. Точнее, отпечаток пальца, а там ее отпечаток. Надо все время ждать, когда появится эта штука, ввести код. В Питере тут закрыто, да? До 11. Потом подпольное казино начинается. Да, да. Но там большинство работают все равно. А у нас даже кинотеатров уже нет рассадки. Я знаю, я вчера на хоккее был. Там вообще где-то процентов 85 заполнено было. Там только знаешь, вот эти первые ряды, вот, которые ближе к э, полю, вот, как бы свободные, а вот вообще полная рассадка. Да, я вчера делал лайф. Но я не спрашивал. Я знаешь, что понял? То, что не надо спрашивать ничего. Я... Проблема я... начинается, когда начинаешь стране, спрашивать. Это привычка такая. Уже люди знают, что им не разрешат. Поэтому они спрашивают. А вот я был, допустим, в Амстердаме, да? Я иду, я понял этот момент, что а, ты можешь куда хочешь, зайти с чем хочешь, пока тебе не сказали, скажут, что нельзя, ты можешь делать, что хочешь вообще. Угу. Я с приемом зашел в это амстердамский кофешок, у них нет лицензии, 
и они не это. Если ты зайдешь с пивом, их могут просто бывать. Я сел, стал пиво пить, через пять минут ко мне подходит, и цель из них пивом нельзя. А я продолжаю дальше. Он ушел, он опять возвращается, второй раз повторяет. Я так на второй раз убираю. То есть, в принципе, два предупреждения можно спокойно. Ну, вот смотри, просто я еще снимал, когда я приезжал в октябре. Это во-первых. Во-вторых, я там в Петербурге каждый день снимаю. Где только не снимаю, я ничего не спрашиваю. И я вот понял, что... Вот смотри, я не спрашиваю, снимаю, и мне никаких потом претензий. Ни от кого нет. И как только ты начинаешь спрашивать, начинаются вопросы. А зачем? А куда это пойдет? А что это? А что за тем? Потом им там надо поговорить с начальством. Создаешь да, сущность лишнюю. Да, а в итоге ты приходишь, а если ты не спрашиваешь, ты приходишь, ты снял и ушел. И все, и вообще... Ни о чем. Я так. два раза заходил вот так, ушел. Заходишь, а никто там на тебя никто не кидает, вот так вот в костюме не ложится. Просто подходит и тебе говорят, что люди у нас нельзя, у нас нет лицензии, у нас нет лицензии, там все такое. Я говорю, хорошо, я выйду на улицу, выйду на улицу. Нормально. Никто не будет ругать тебя. Ну, вот здесь тоже мне, я захожу, мне никто ничего не говорит. В принципе... В принципе, я даже, мне кажется, в принципе, я даже имею право, потому что, ну, типа, я веду съемку с телефона, это не профессиональное оборудование. Это не профессиональное оборудование. Вот вообще есть пункт, когда, допустим, в метро, да? Метро. Там вот прям есть пункт, что ты не можешь снимать только если у тебя профессиональное оборудование. А профессиональным, под профессиональным понимается э, на штативе и со вспышкой. И вот меня тоже такая раз остановили, я в метро снимал. Я им прям сказал пункт, и от какого там числа это вот постановление. 44-й пункт, там 29 сентября вот этого года, 2020 -го года. И там вот прям написано. А так можешь снимать, пожалуйста. Это идет трансляция? Да, да. Меня там помнит, как чувака из бани вот? Я не знаю, пока не пишут. Но, может, писали, но я это... Кстати, сегодня разговаривал как раз с Раисом. То, что можно замутить стрим. Повторить? Да, только тогда это был влог, а это можно стрим сделать. Понятно. Да, просто стримить, просто это все это подряд. вторая часть. Да, да. Просто стрим. У нее шапка уже. Эта шапка, она ездила в Турдам. Да. Так было, прикинь, это было. Три года назад. Да. Это, по-моему, как раз Новый год. Перед, 17... перед Новым годом. 17 да? Да. Это с 16 до 17 или с 17 до 17 Да, да. Да, два года. Три, три, три уже. Да. Ладно, ладно, надо идти. Продолжим. Все. Hello, everybody from Dmitry. You maybe remember him from the vlog three years ago from public bathhouse together with Raiz. Excuse me, look into my eyes. Sometimes hot, sometimes ice. He was in a shopka Ushanka. Ushanka hat, yeah. The red Ushanka hat. Public bathhouse video. That's Dmitry from there. Public perma. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go, dudes. Я сейчас пойду на Гоголя. Джоус Спот. Джоус Спот. Айвар, знаешь, Джоус Спот. Около Морриса. Джоус Спот. Новый какой-то? Относительно новый. Ну так, я только полтора два. Не помню. Там только два 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 два. На все не хватает. Да, крафт. Мне нужен крафт. Когда есть любимый Лан тогда на связи, на связи, можно замутить лайв из бани. Все. Окей. Bye, bye, dudes. Awesome wine as always. Ну что, it was a nice wine again. Отличный, отличное вино было снова. The place never disappoints, не разочаровывает место. 
Okay, bye. See you later. Another another time. It's not as cold as it seems, dudes. Especially by Russian standards, it's only minus seven. Tavrida. Только пицца. Камура. Пицца и бир. I love Salavat Yulayev. I love hockey club Slovat you life. You see everybody here loves Slovat you life. Everybody. 60 years of history. Another ice skating rink. Sherlock Holmes pub, an English style pub here. HSM epic return, keep it up. Thanks so much. By the way, I sent the request about the singer who was yesterday there to the press service of uh, Hockey Club Salavat You Live and waiting for their response. <clears throat> this is Chernyshevsky Street, philosopher, the writer, He was questioning with the question who, who is guilt and what to do.
sushi and walk place. Here you can uh, get sushi and walk. And also here's the place called Garage. By the way, here in Garage they sell Vasily Ostrovskaya beer from St. Petersburg. If you remember, I told you that I think Vasily Ostrovskaya, Vasily Ostrovskaya beer is the best local beer or one of the best local beers in St. Petersburg for sure. Classic. This is a classic store. Um, this is uh, classic gloves from the brands like Oe, Monnery, Rabe, Unique, and Fabrizio. It's uh, uh, women's gloves. Raiffeisen Bank. Now, uh, as an announcement, I'm gonna show you where I gotta go tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow, here in the city of Ufa, at the 5th of January, there will be the game of Slava Tilaev against Avangard from Omsk, Siberian city of Omsk, and also the uh, the concerts of Bashkir music, Bashkir musicians, and a grand hall of uh, Bashkir State Philharmonic. Well, and I'm making my choice for the concerts because. Already several times I used to show the hockey games and exactly the hockey games here in Ufa. Uh, but you know that actually I love the variety, always for variety. So that's why tomorrow I'm making my choice, making my bet on the concert. And uh, now I'm going to show I'm, sh I'm gonna show the place. Burger Heroes. Burger Heroes place. Craft burgers. So we can be heroes just for one day. Karle Koskinen, welcome to the club. I have a whole vlog about it, it's made yet like three years ago uh, with Vika. We were coming here and, and I ate this burger called Black Mamba with cherry and bacon. Black Mamba. I'm now going to Gogol Street, Nikolai Gogol. That's where it's located, Bashir State Philharmonic. There is a small hall, also known as Organ Hall, and a Grand Hall. Nice, nice. People are having a great time. 
Look, the place called Chachapuri Hachapuri, a Georgian restaurant. Oh, awesome. You remember Chachapuri at Marat Street in uh, St. Petersburg? Joe's Spot, Joe's Spot place. Um, this is uh, craft beer. I'm going to get back here now. After I will show you the uh, Bashkir State Philharmonic Morris Irish pub. Bashkir State Philharmonic is here. Already in less than 24 hours, I will come here that uh, to introduce the Bashkir music culture for you. Okay, there we go. 1939 building. Bashkir State Philharmonic. The entrance to the small hall and grand hall. 1939. The only concern I really have, uh, as much as I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous about how is the connection there, because there is the hole inside of the building, which is covered mostly with the walls with no windows. It's like in a, a state concert hall, Bashkortostan, but still in a concerts state concert hall Bashkortostan however there is there is uh, the connection somehow comes through yes here is the windows but look uh, the thing is the windows goes next to like the corridor okay the corridor but there like the uh, isolated kind of isolated holes So 1939, an early Soviet architecture. Do a quick test. Well, I can't get inside now. It's all closed. So tomorrow, 7 p.m. Ofa time or 5 p.m. St. Petersburg slash Moscow time, the concert of uh, Bashkir music is here. Um, I hope it will working out. I'm making my bets and put all my hope into this because I'm actually uh, uh, going here against another game of hockey club Slava to Life because there was already like at least three or four games I covered the games of Slava to your life, but never yet been here in a oh, Bashkir State Philharmonic. That's for a thumbnail of uh, tomorrow's video. Okay.